My name is Richard Correa, and I'm the developer of the RAID 5 stale member detection tool. If you have purchased this tool, then hopefully you have read my blog, and, and in fact, you have a stale drive in your RAID 5. In addition, uh, hopefully you have broken your RAID 5 into separate drives and mounted them using ports or a controller other than your RAID controller. With all this being said, the following is how you use the stale member detection tool. First of all, what we want to do is we want to mount the drive uh, that were mount the drives that were initially in your array. So we do that by simply mousing over the button that says mount drives and clicks. What happens then is that the system goes out and will find all the physical drives that have been mounted by Windows. If in the list right here you don't see all the drives, uh, then you might want to check your connections. In addition, you may also have a bad drive in the array, a drive that may have been ambered already and it's not being detected by Windows, and therefore the software is not going to see it either. Once the drives have been mounted, you select the drives that are uh, in your original array, the RAID 5. You do that by just clicking on these little boxes over here, these little check boxes. Only click the ones that were in your RAID 5 array. For demonstration purposes, I'm clicking all three of these. Once you've clicked all of them, the next thing you want to do is, very simply, you want to find the stale drive. So you run mouse over here, where it says find stale drive and click on that. Now what you see going on is uh, the software actually goes out and finds little markers that are embedded in the RAID that it recognizes and these markers are shared throughout all the drives and it counts these markers. A stale drive which has been out of the array will have less of these markers than the other drives that have been active in the array and that's how we do this. So what we're doing now is we're going to let it scan for a little while we try and let the software run for at least 10 to 20 minutes to get a good read, uh, depending upon the speed of the drives. With this SCSI, is maybe not as long. Um, all that being said, you also want to make sure that the object count, this object count here, is at least 20,000. Now, I'm going to stop it before that because this has actually been set up for demonstration purposes. So now, once the, mile, once the software has reached either the 20,000 object milestone or 10 to 20 minutes, you want to stop the search. And all you do is just go down here and click on that. And it'll, sometimes it takes a little while to stop, so just kind of be patient and wait for it to do that. Now, if you'll notice, on the right-hand side here, it says results. What the software does, um, it ranks which drives it thinks, uh, the likelihood of those drives being stale. Um, first, of, co of course, uh, the first ranking being that the software believes that this drive here is the most likely to be stale. And then second, third, so on and so forth. And this all depends on how many drives you, are, you have in your array. There's one thing here that I want you to remember. This is only a guess. The other things can be going on that would cause this to cause a, a RAID to uh, look like it has a stale drive, and there may be different objects. So what you want to do is see the amount of objects here and, and how many, what the difference is between each one. You should have, on a normal RAID that has maybe 300, 400,000 files in it, you should see a discrepancy of at least three, four, five hundred objects from the one that's most likely to be stale. The longer the RAID as or the longer this drive has been stale in your RAID, the bigger the discrepancy, and you can kind of tell from that as well. Now, once again, this is only for demonstration purposes. If you only have like uh, 50, 60 between the least and the most, then you probably don't have a stale drive in your array, and, and you want to look elsewhere to see what your problem may, may be. So, once again, exercise prudence when determining if, in fact, you do have a stale drive. Now, lastly, um, if you want to mount images, not drives. You want to, if you've made images of these drives and you want to mount the images, just go to this button here that says Mount Image and click. That'll bring up a dialog box, and that dialog box we've all seen a thousand times, and allows you to go through and maybe find an image that you uh, want to mount and then have scanned. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, it's my opinion, however, that uh, it's better to use images than to use live data, because God knows what's going to happen. You're already having trouble with the drives. God knows what's going to happen if you continue using the drive. So try and make an image and actually use the image. Now, if after this you use the tool and you're still having problems with the array, then please call me at the office. My number here is area code 866-438-6932, and my extension is 203. And I'll be more than happy to try and help you work through your recovery. Thank you so much.